up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2K Drive. For the first time in a long time, we have a brand new LEGO game that is not made by TT Games, and we're going to dive on in and check it on out. Of course, guys, if you do enjoy today's video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see a continuous series. And in addition to all of that, I do want to go on ahead and also thank you guys so very much for your support on all the previous LEGO series completed on the channel. If you could use the comment section down below to let me know what is your favorite all-time car? Like, what is the one car that you would love to own if money was no object? And with that in mind, let's dive on in shall we so as you can see right off the bat we have a selection of a handful of different modes available to us including story mode cup series race and mini game well i guess let's begin with the story shall we it looks like turbo acres will be the first location the big tower and probably satellites in space this is awesome news network hello Brickland. hello and i'm parker Carr. today's top story you driving fast. Okay, I like this. Whoa, okay, that is very fast. They're not messing around. Right away, rockets. You build stuff. I do build stuff. You break stuff. And you Was that the character from the Lego movie with the cats? That's okay, there's a race in the sky. The the sky, sky Cup Grand Prix. All challengers must provide their own means of transportation to the Sky Stadium. But to get that Sky Trophy, you've got to beat a bunch of crazy drivers. Just, Just like, like these, these crazy, crazy drivers. drivers. Hey, they're crashing on purpose. Yeah, they're crazy. Crazy rude. And of course. And dangerous. Never been caught cheating, but probably cheats all the time. Reigning champion and obvious bad guy. Shadow Z. That's me. Dang. Shadow Z, Shadow Z looks kind of cool. Oh, I'm going to smash you good for being a no-name nobody who suddenly has threatened me for no apparent reason. <laughs> I like the bricks coming off the actual build when the cars clash. Good attention to detail. That seems like this could be our hero or mentor, mentor, I guess. Which is lucky for you and convenient for the story. We, we smell, smell a tutorial. tutorial. Nah, nah, nah. Well, sort of. But the fun kind, maybe. Either way, you've got no choice, kid. So let's go. Hooray! I guess let's dive into some gameplay, shall we? Wow. Okay, so things are very Follow vibrant and colorful I'll right off the bat. We have a pretty can. stellar car. Seems like a fancy, like, uh, almost like a Porsche style car. Every driver is hoping for a shot at the Sky Cup Grand Prix. Gotta win a lot of races if you ever want to see that. Whoa, we're off road. We just transformed. That was pretty smooth, that transformation. Off roading before, I can tell. I certainly have not. Okay, press X to go really fast. Watch what corners. I just learned. Okay, I'm drifting pretty well. Hello. Welcome to Turbo Acres, racing capital of the world. We've got it all here. I wonder where that's located. Like geographically speaking. Everything about racing. Snacks I love the, the Octane attires. That's line. definitely a cool little tribute to classic Lego. Can grab some serious air time. We even got a garage where you can build your own set of wheels. And my personal favorite, Clutch Tower, the heart of the operation. Is that is it your personal favorite because it seems Don't to be named me. after I'm you? Stud, your super terrific utility drone. Okay. Stud will guide you around and keep your systems in check. At your service. Uh oh, Stud might be a bit dusty. I'll clean him up after we get through this intro. Until I love how then, they just acknowledge that they're inside of a video game. Like they break the fourth wall like Deadpool or something. The animation on the mouth animation and him speaking don't match at all, though, because he seems to continue to speak right now, but there is no voice lines. Okay. 
So I guess we begin by uh, having access to a handful of drivers right off the bat. So we have Autopilot here. We have Betty Boost. <laughs> cool name. Default Diana. <laughs> Default dude. Uh, Indie Cider. You have Reckless Scorpion Stunt Driver, which looks kind of a Lucha Libre inspired character. And then we have Wheelie Stunt Driver. So it seems like we start out with about seven characters to begin with. I think I'm going to stick with Indie Cider for now since that was the character that they gave us at the beginning. And then we'll adjust as we go. Just open the loadout in the options menu. Cool. All right, Hotshot. Time for your first driving lesson. Come meet me and I'll teach you how to drift. Let's do it. You see an orange marker. Head that way to meet Clutch. All right. I shall head that way to meet up with Clutch. Whoa. Okay. Trying to learn how to drift before I even learn how to drift. Hey there, champ. Learning to drift is way cooler than learning to parallel park. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, yeah, who likes to learn how to parallel park? Drifting is going to be pretty awesome, I hope. While driving and turning the left stick, hold L2 to drift. Which I kind of did already, but I guess now we're going to officially learn. You're doing great. Pretty good drifting. And going nice to this drift. corner. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to drift through all of this. Or just through the actual, like, have tunnels. There we go. I think I got it. Okay, we got some sort of a battery cell. That's an interesting, because usually I'm used to always collecting studs in LEGO games. So it looks like there's a different currency in this game called Brick Bucks, which kind of sounds pretty good, actually. Go to Unk's Emporium, buy awesome stuff, use awesome stuff in the game. Nice Okay, ow. Sort of didn't stick the landing there. Now feel free to uh, drift around and explore. When you're ready, come meet me at Clutch Tower. I love we'll that things uh, change form. Like the vehicle changes form almost instantly. That's incredible. Like it actually works really well. Which is kind of surprising because I feel like some of the trailers made it seem a little bit clunky, to be honest. But it really transforms quite smoothly at least for me here so so far so good okay I'm gonna drift in and here we go Ooh, nice little mclaren sticker there that's cool and so i guess we got to meet up with uh clutch racington all right hot shot it's time to see if you can beat me a living legend and prove you're good enough to represent Team Racington. All right, bring it on, Clutch. Car, the McLaren. Okay. I'll be driving something a little less top of the line. Wait, he's gonna give us the McLaren? Oh, way less. I just hope the tires stay on. Drive into the start Bro. zone next to Clutch. Okay. How can I switch? I, am I allowed to switch into the McLaren? Oh. Well, rip. I guess we're just gonna go on ahead and compete. So here we go. Racing 101, rival Clutch Racing 10. And it looks like we're gonna get a lot of first place prizes if we hit the first place, which ultimately that's what we're going for. So let's proceed. It's Clutch Racing 10. of today's race. I'm Vicki Wheeler. And I'm Parker Carr. Bricklandia's top, top racing, racing commentator. Hold up, I just realized his, <laughs> his name is Parker Carr. <laughs> That's okay. Right, Vicky. Sources say Clutch believes this racer is going all the way to the Sky Cup Grand Prix. Stay tuned to ANN for more on this exciting story. And remember, if you're ready to race, then, then so are we. I. Okay, here we go. So it doesn't look like we got them. Oh, we did get the McLaren. Oh my, wait, what? How are you all so fast? Ooh, here's the first time that we get to see any of the weapon tools. 
Transform to boat form, and can you drift as a boat? You can drift as a boat. Here comes a jump. Okay, so far so good. Whoa, look at the beautiful water. Okay, so right now, sixth place. Definitely not doing as well as I would like to be doing. Stay on track, kid. Oh my goodness. Grab this. Come on. Good power. Okay. Not bad. That's lap number one. We're currently in third place. One more lap. With the ability to catch up. Great shot. Ah, and away we go. I wonder if you maintain your items when you transform. We were first for just one second there, but that was pretty fun. Not gonna lie, being first place is kind of fun! So I am definitely gonna try to go for that again. Okay. Game past them. Back into first we go. Excellent. Competing for first. Easier said than done. Get a little drifting going on. It seems like the drifting really helps with being able to uh, recover some of our uh, boost quicker. So I do appreciate that. Okay. And I'm going to boost right to the finish line. Boom, baby! First place. What a performance. I mean, was it really surprising? By comparison, we're rocking the McLaren. That was an absolutely dominant performance. We won a flag, which I don't know what that means, but we also won Cecile's car. And we've defeated our very first rival, which is actually also our mentor, and that would be Clutch Racington. All right, tremendous. A pretty good gap, about two seconds ahead of second place. So if I can maintain those kinds of performances, we're going to be golden, which is awesome. Okay, so having completed that, we got some brick bucks. Did not level up, it looks like. You're At least not quite yet. Ready to be part of Team Racington, champ. And the best part, you earned a checkered flag. Okay. And what do we do with the checkered flag? Are those collectibles? And you can compete in the Grand Brick Ooh. Arenas. There are three Grand Brick Arenas in Bricklandia. And if you win all those, guess what happens? Do I get the cup? Ooh, ooh, you get a solid go car? Free batteries for life? A puppy? <laughs> no, no. You get to race nice. in the Sky Cup Grand Prix. That's the championship to end all championships. Win that, and you'll be the greatest racer in Bricklandia. Okay, I definitely now, want to be the greatest racer there in Bricklandia. Are a couple of other things you need to do before you get back to winning checkered flags. Stud will tell you all about it. Okay. All right, let's take a look at your world map. Let's do that. See that triangle? That's you. Okay, I mean, it's kind of a triangle, but yeah, okay. It's, it's got more than three angles, but whatever. Um, yes, I see it. What, do, what would you like me to do next? As you travel throughout the world, you will discover activities to test your skills. It looks like a pretty small map, right I'll be honest. Here are two new activities to choose from. They're each highlighted with a yellow circle. It okay. can be difficult to find your way with just a map, so let's set a waypoint. Move your cursor over one of the highlighted world chests. Smashing it is. Let's head there. Close the world map and follow. Okay, I got this. I got this. Come on, I've played enough video games. Like, the way that they do this tutorial sometime, it's like you've never played any games ever, you know? Which is uh, just very unlikely, right? So... What is this? On-the-go events. You have found an on-the-go event. Learn the rules, go through the gate to start, and complete activities to earn rewards. Okay, so this is kind of Forza-esque. Avoid the hazards and make it to the top of the hill. In what? In some sort of time frame? Whoa! Whoa! No. Got it. What is that? is that? Is that? That's a bronze? There is no way. Restart event. Of course I'm going to restart this. 
Oh, boy. I basically have to be going with speed boost at all times. Yikes! Yikes! Okay, well, somehow we did much better, but still not gold. Bro! Oh, I forgot I can jump! That's why they taught us how to jump! Jumping is paramount! This is a joke. We got the gold. Okay, it did take a couple of attempts, but having collected gold, I think I get something or another. A level up. Lovely. This really does have a lot of Forza sort of looking mechanics. Which, hey, that's not a bad thing. That's one of my favorite racing games ever made. Whoa, sorry for parking right on top of your head. But what do we have here? Smashing, a new story mode mission. Okay. So, while pressing the square button, sorry, pressing the square button while turning will quick turn. Interesting. So, destroy as many mushrooms as you can right, in 90 Rick, seconds. Let's get to smashing. Try using your quick turn to pivot from one mushroom to another. You got it. Oh boy. This smashing I don't know why it feels very clunky. Fuel. I'll be honest. Like, these controls Whoa, do not quick. feel good enough to be able to do this sort of thing. That's probably why they give you 90 seconds, because essentially you're better off to just, like, uh, nice come turn. to, like, a full stop, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm not going to lie, because I think this game is pretending like it's got way better controls than it does, at least when it comes to, like, precise driving like this. It feels way more... Um, drifty than I would like it to be on these sorts of sections. Maybe it's because we're off-roading, I suppose. Like, that could be a possibility. But I don't know. For me, it just does not feel precise enough. But, again, as you can see, still completing the task with plenty more time to go, so there is really no difficulty, at least in these early missions. But again, we're also going through the sections that right now are essentially acting as a little bit of a tutorial section for the most part. So, let's go on ahead and try. Whoa, sorry to that Octan guy. That's awkward. Let's head towards another destination. I will say when you look at the mini map on the mini map, it does make it seem like the map is not quite that large, but driving through it, it feels plenty big. Like it doesn't seem like it's overly tiny or anything like that, at least for now. We'll see of course what the actual tasks are and if they're easy fun and a combination of those two all right fill the boost meter then tap and hold x got it that's fair okay like oh man why didn't i drift there where where are they are they going to be at the green thing? Hello. Is this one of them? Oh, okay. I wasn't even sure what a flare is. That's why I was so confused. So far, so good. Got to build up our momentum here. Hello. Boo. I'm trying. I'm a lot of boost. Wow. Yeah, I don't know about this sudden drifting button. That seems to be just way, 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 way too clunky. Okay. Here we go this way. And then the L2 drift. I don't know. 
may, may, you know, again, obviously just diving into the game. Whoa. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, just diving into the game, but it just feels a little too um, out there, if that makes sense. Okay. Up Cap Hill. I like the name. That's cool. I know they say flare. So, now that we've completed that, what task am I actually supposed to work on? Okay, I guess these are optional tasks here. We have Sunny Sides Garage, Smashing Mission, Tea Time, and Drift Acres. Wait, but we've already done this one. And we've done this one. And I guess the only one we haven't done would be this one, which would be Tea Time. You're prepared for Is that not a reference to golf? Come meet me at the garage. All right. Can we get? Can we even get up there? Our vehicle is struggling to figure out a way. This this is highly imprecise. No. Okay. Perfect. Nailed it. First try. All right, what do you got for us? Oh, this is Anki's garage over here. Or Anki's Emporium, sorry. I'll get that fixed for ya. So here's the garage itself. What's up, Anki? Yes. Sunny and Anki. If you can think it, Hi, they can build I'm it. Sunny Monkey, and this is my uncle, Anki Monkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our garage, where we welcome you to build an awesome vehicle. There are also free banana smoothies. You're welcome. That is pretty nice, actually. Uh, all this welcoming is tiring. I'm going to go take a break. No problem, monkey. I got it from here. All right. So since it's your first time in the garage, how about I show you something simple like changing your paint quickly? Ooh, ah, I'm excited. Ooh, look at that. Fancy <laughs> little transition. Friendly monkey reminder. You can end a tutorial anytime by going to the options menu. Ooh, ooh. What's your favorite color? Red. Let's paint your vehicle that color even quicker. Red. Need the paint tool in the toolbox. Now select the paint tool. Okay. Ooh, ah, let's paint all the red parts a different color. Wait, but also, I like red. Select all the red bricks at once. Okay. Move the little circle within a circle thingy over the high. Here's a pro tip. Press C. That was Select quick. color. Okay. Now, and then let's now, change up these open how up. about a cool metallic color instead of red? Select the metallic paint page. Can I still pick? When you move oh. the selection, the color of your vehicle will yeah, change yeah, to show you what it Yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool. Like. Pick any color you want with accept. Okay, wait. Ooh, ah, I love it. No, I didn't want to. Why would I want to color my car brown like that? It looks terrible. No, 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 no. Cancel. No, I want it. <sighs> ooh, ooh, there's a lot more you can learn in the garage. All the tutorials yes, can be found right. in the options I have a menu. sports car. It looks unbelievably <laughs> boring now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What is this? This is interesting. Oh, uh, so this is the pre-order vehicles. Key. You know. Ooh. Here, you can Macchio Beast looks sick. On any of the yeah, 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 that's fine. Options. Oh, my goodness. If you select yes. See? Oh, my goodness. Exactly. You guys just love talking. Can I just look at the cars, please? Look at that. This is neat. Look at all these vehicles. Yo, that thing looks beautiful. There's some goofier looking vehicles for sure. Out for the count looks great. <laughs> There's the burger, Hamburghini, Royale, awesome pizza vehicle. Cecile's car, that's the one that we got. These look really neat. I kind of want to, I kind of want to equip this because that looks incredible. There's also some other vehicles that will be approved. So these are going to be ones that you can make. And then if they're approved, they get shared. So that's cool. We have some Lego Creator vehicles and the Lego City Convertible Sports Coupe. Or Coupe, sorry. All right, so we exit Unky's Garage. Not really going to do any purchasing right now. All right, champ. You're prepared for what's next. When you're ready, 
Come meet me at the garage. You know what's funny? I am garage. at the garage. If you want to build your own set of wheels, just talk to Sunny Monkey and head That's inside. That's what I but just you did. you need to know, these garages are also fast travel Ooh, ports. Ooh, nice. So I guess there will be multiple locations. Monkey's Emporium is like Starbucks. You're welcome to stay at Turbo Acres. There's one on every corner. Turn whenever you like. But what do you say, Hotshot? You ready to fast travel to Big Butte? Big Butte, let's Great. go. Stud will show you how to fast I'm glad he pronounced group. it and not I'll me. See you there. All right. This will be fast, much like your travel. Okay. Open, your world. You're at the Open the world map. Turbo Acres. Yes. The garages are special because you can use them to fast travel. Okay. Oh, so there's a lot more islands. This is Big Butte County, a brand new place for you to explore, race, and try new activities. That's neat. We'll need a garage to fast travel to. I'll find the first one. But you'll need to explore to find others. Okay, I appreciate Man, that. Here's your first garage in Big Butte County. Now then, simply move the cursor over the new garage in Big Butte County and, and press triangle to fast travel. Here's Big Butte. Oh, there's the chicken, the big giant chicken statue. Brick Mart? <laughs> That's funny. You've made it to Big Butte County. Hey. I couldn't blame you if you decided to just settle here for good. This looks like something out of cars, doesn't but it? Don't let the slow pace and glorious landscape fool you. Racing is everywhere in Big Butte. Weaving in and out of the great stone monuments. Oh, surging balancing. along the dazzling waterways. And tearing up the town with friendly competition. Listen, well, thanks for Jack, welcoming us. I know you got what it takes to get to the Sky Cup Grand Prix. Win the Sky Trophy. And be crowned the greatest racer in Bricklandia. Thank you, Clutch. Now you just gotta prove it to everyone else by racing, winning checkered flags, and competing in the Grand Brick Arenas. Okay. Your first race is Dust Devil Run. The name makes it sound dangerous, and it is. Open your world map. Move the cursor over to Dust Devil Run and place a waypoint. I suppose this is it right here. Place the waypoint, now you'll be and able we're to ready to go. Find your first race. And I helped. It's interesting that it looks like you can get three different grades for each one of these races. So you can get a C rank, B rank, or A rank, it looks like. So. Close the world map and follow the waypoint to Dust Devil Run. Stud okay. and I are always here if you need us. Now go. Dude, look at our car! No, you are. It's like a unlicensed Batmobile. That's what we're looking like right now. There's Chip Hauser. Who the heck is Chip Hauser? Dang, those are some cool looking cars over here as well. Hello. All right, so those are our prizes right there. As you can see, we get the checkered flag. We get a little bit of brick box. We get the battery cells, which I'm still not sure what those are for. We get a really cool vehicle, which looks awesome. Kind of a biplane inspired thing. So with that in mind, let's race. Welcome to Dust Devil Run. This looks like it's going to be a hectic map. Watch out for twisters. Hmm. Mm. Did this guy just give himself a fake beard? <laughs> He's like, I got some five o'clock shadow. All right, let's do this. It's a busy day here at Dust Devil Run. Right you are, Parker. The pig farm is operating at full stink ahead. There are reports of several tornadoes. And even though a race is about to start, Chip Hauser's flight school is still in session. Vicky, I had the chance to talk to Chip Hauser before the race. Even though it was very hard to understand him because his mouth was full of food, one thing was clear. He's hungry for a win. Well, bring it, Chip, Chip Hauser. What the heck? Why are they all airplanes? I'm the only one out here with like a little ATV looking car. All right, here we go. Get further ahead. Power up coming in hot. Look to shortcuts and look to the sky. Okay. I will say during these sections, the driving feels like it is far more precise than it does in the overworld. And I don't know what causes that. Maybe it's just because we're obviously on a racetrack, so it's just better optimized for this sort of environment. Not oh, certain. Dear. What the heck? Try again, Bro! Dad. We're out here getting bullied. Whoa! Did I just become a Star Wars that spaceship? 
think I did. At least temporarily. I don't know why I didn't drift there. I didn't press the drift button. So for some reason, there was a complete lack of drifting. If winning wasn't easy, I wouldn't do it. What the heck, man? Yeah, I'm gonna save up my. Apparently, it's second. Hey, that's Chip! There's no way that we end up getting defeated by some random enemy, right? <laughs> I'm winning. Oh boy. Last lap. Here we go. These guys are hoarding all the power-ups! We're gonna get Chip oh, webbed there. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna stick to this path. It seems to have worked relatively well for me so far. And right now we're in first. I drive before I think. Send the spider web back. It's nice that you can actually use your items behind you as well, similarly to how you would in a game like Mario Kart, for example, etc. So you don't have to always use them offensively ahead of you. You can actually use them defensively to keep enemies behind you. But we win again. Let's go, baby. Tremendous. We got ourselves another checkered flag. We got ourselves Hauser's P-59 Off-Roader, which looks very fancy. Get a health boost. And, of course, another rival beaten. This time, it's Chip Hauser. All right. That's a great success. That was a crazy racetrack, too. Very, very hectic. A lot going on on that one. That's for certain. But back to Big Butte we go. We got ourselves uh, 283 brick bucks. Doing well at oh, leveling up it. now. You won, so you get my checker flag, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yes. Keep it clean for me, will you? I okay. just washed it. No, I didn't. Wow. Bro literally just lied to us. You know, maybe like I that. should try that whole apply myself thing that folks keep telling me to do. Uh, maybe you should. You but also, I think flag. you did really well. Not quite the same thing as beating me, but still, you got a flag. Yes. I will add this checkered flag to your collection. It is very attractive and brings you one step closer to qualifying for the Big Butte Grand Brick Arena. Well, that's one nice. One more thing, Hotshot. Before you race again, you'll need to gain some experience to match the skills of your next two rivals. It's time to earn XP and level up. Find okay, I can do that. Events, quests, and challenges by can anybody explain to me world? what is happening with the pig on the right? Like, the pig's on the left, chilling. You know, regular pigs. They're just doing pig things. The pig on the right looks like it's had way too much sugar. I've highlighted the next two races on your map. Okay. And it seems like they are the currently locked. To unlock a race is displayed on the race icon as seen here. Okay. You can find your current level in the XP bar in the top right of the world map. Roger. Got all that? Great. Now let's get going. Oh, so I guess we can't access this race yet, right? Because we need to be level four. So, unfortunately, uh, this is just a little bit if too wasn't easy, I wouldn't do it. difficult. Can we get to talk to Chip? You beat me, but at least I had fun and got to skip out on chores. I guess I should do those now. Or we could race again. Well, I suppose we could race again, but at least not right at this very moment, because I've been assigned for some other tasks. So, let's get over to those other tasks. Nice. I leveled up. That's lovely. I love that the uh, indicator point does not in any way, shape, or form actually communicate to you how to get there. Because as far as I know, I can't drive up on this, can I? What the heck? I can drive up the... Okay. Ah, I stand corrected. I had no idea. I was legitimately taken aback by that. I'll be honest. Yikes. Hello. Hi. Bye. Yeah, I can't imagine the insurance costs of this world here. So, as you can see, I cannot actually battle against Dr. Fastro. At least not yet. Because I need to get a little bit more leveling done. Hello. Okay. Just telling us more fancy things about Dr. Fastro.
Okay, well, I guess we got a couple of farming missions that we could tackle. We also have utter chaos, which I'm guessing is going to be some type of a cow reference. So let's go take a look at that task. This is a quest. Talk to the quest giver, complete the task, and then collect your reward. Okay, hello. It's an alien. What the heck? Help. S How do you say that? Smybanor? Uh, farming equipment has gone haywire and is carrying the cows away. Smybanor? What a name. Need someone to get them down before it starts raining milk. Ugh. If only you had a jetpack, you could help Smybanor? If only. Single tier. Okay. But where is Smybanor? And I think I do have maybe... Some type of a... Jetpack. I guess I don't know where Smybanor is yet, but I I'll keep a lookout. If I see something that looks like a UFO, I'll, I'll try to help you with it. I just don't know where that would be. So for now, I'm going to head over to this task instead. Oh, wait, I see it. I see Smybanor. Hello. Wait. How would I possibly catch up with that thing? It go, it's going really fast. It's right there, isn't it? Let me see. I swear I just seen it right here. Okay. Got some brick bucks. Definitely happy about that. Waypoint reached. Run the course and avoid the cones. Okay. That seems pretty reasonable. I think I could do that. That seems a little bit more um, up my alley. Okay, so we need to complete this in under a minute and 20 seconds in order to get... No, don't hit the cones. It's gonna be easier said than done. Yikes. Okay. Ooh, no, no, no. Hit the corner, hit the corner, hit the corner. Boost! I need more power. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Unlimited power. I feel like uh, this car was the wrong one for this sort of challenge. Yikes, dang it. So I think we've already been knocked back down to... Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to get bronze by the looks of it. Yeah, this is not the best car for this sort of thing. I'm going to be honest. Mainly due to the fact that um, this car just seems to clip things quite easily because of the big giant wingspan in the back. So I would not recommend a vehicle of this size for this sort of thing. Okay, nice. Get some power. Get some drift going. Okay, that's much better actually. This is some clean driving. No, no! It seems like every cone that you hit adds about two seconds to your timer. Or sorry, adds a second. We've suffered two seconds because I've hit two cones. But man, yeah, that's tough. I gotta be honest, that is tough. With this vehicle, it's kind of a challenge. Okay, so that's going to be something that I suppose we can strive for down the line, but not at this very moment because, well, um, I, I kind of I kind of made a misselection with the vehicle choice that I went with, which is fine, you know? What is this? Race to the something of the oasis in six seconds. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I, I got this. No! 
Okay, well, it seems like 4 seconds and 43 milliseconds will be my best time, at least as of right now. I'm just not really certain as to how you could possibly do that much faster. But maybe it's as simple as, hey, you need a much better vehicle. So maybe over time, as the game goes on, and as I get to upgrade, we'll get to utilize a vehicle that is better suited for that particular task. But for now, I guess we head onwards. Yikes! Yikes! I really wish you would score points, just like you do in Forza for the off-road demolition derby that you cause. But it doesn't seem to be the case, at least not right now. What do we have here? So for this one, we need to jump all the farm buildings to reach the end. Okay. Yikes! Yikes! Oh my goodness. Did that work? What just happened? It just went but the bad pop up. Did I do something right or did I do something wrong? Ah yeah 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna abandon mission and tactical retreat away. Ooh, level up. That's what it was. It was doing the doom 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 bam ba da boom boom. Looks like you're ready We're for the next up. challenge. Well, you thank can now you. Now access Butte Loops. Or if you're in the mood for loops, but something different, try Infinite Loop. Okay. Well, we got a couple new rivals. So now, Infinite Loop is available to us. So, let's go find it. I think we needed to do some uh, trickery over here, right? So th this is probably going to require some looping, I'm guessing, right? Based on, well, the names of these ones. Please. Please. Power. Huh. Okay, so I guess the way that they designed this, I have to actually go all the way around it. But, well, this is kind of madness. Oh my goodness, is there ever going to be a point in which I can turn left? Why would you build it like this? Please, can I go up here? Thank you, finally. Holy. It felt like there was going to be no hope. Is that like a propane canister looking like a Lego head? <laughs> I think it is. Okay. We're finding a lot of things on the way to these tasks, but obviously, like, I can't stop for every single one of them because there's just so many things popping up constantly that it would be impossible to make any Three, sort of progress two, if we just one, stopped for every single go. one. And race me. But here we go. A new rival bringing on the infinite loop. Infinite loop. Infinite. Infinite. That's what it is. Infinite loop. Bring it on, Dr. Jed Fastro. Jedifast. Jetifast. However you say your name. It's nighttime here at Infinite Loop. And by the looks of it, someone needs to bring these scientists back down to Earth. Literally. That's right, Parker. Scientists are often in the sky for science reasons. But now's the time to get to the starting line for wanting to win reasons. And anyone who wants to win should get their favorite off-roader. This track is designed for off-roading vehicles. Yep. All that's down there is a dirt track and very expensive space equipment. Ridiculously expensive. So racers, if you do crash into a satellite, be sure to leave a note. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Ooh, I really like these vehicles. They're very spacey. Why do I always start all the way in the back? How's this fair? Oh, sorry. All right. Doing a little bit of looping of our foes. What the heck? I just got absolutely bullied. Hey. Just because they have bigger vehicles. How is that fair? They just yeeted us way out of the way. Okay, time for some sweet, sweet revenge. Oh my goodness. 
goodness. Okay, we're gaining. Keep it up, rookie. Goodness, am I gaining anything? There we go. Go, go, go! Face forwards! All the way into second place! Brilliant. I like that ability a lot. That's coming through very clutch for us. Hey, your car is looking uh, a little <laughs> worse for wear. <laughs> Wait, our car is a little worse for wear. Okay. Spider web. You know what they say: the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Let's get some dashing done. Oh my goodness. Bro! Holy moly! How is that fair? Oh my goodness. What a disaster. An absolute disaster of a performance. Fourth place. The obnoxious Dr. Fastro. More like Dr. Cheating. All those doctors that were cheating, bro. What was that all about? They're all using these big giant vehicles, knocking us way off the map. Destroying us with one single tackle. Absolute bullies, bro. Got him! Boom! Revenge! With it in first place, baby! Let's go! Woo! Got ourselves another checkered flag. Got ourselves a brand new vehicle unlocked. And defeated Dr. Fastro. Let's go! Tremendous. Holy moly. I was like, bro, are you serious? I really thought we might have to switch vehicles because their vehicles were so much like sturdier. So they're always just like, if they bump into us, we go flying. So I had to like be very, very was agile. I was expecting. According to all of my pre-race calculations, I should have beaten you by a full minute. Well, it didn't happen though, did it? You took chances out there that I never would have. That must be the missing variable. Sure, yeah. That guy's very happy for us, I think. That was great. You showed control. You showed focus and determination. I sure did. Now ask yourself, what did I do right? Because you have to bring that to the next race. I this think that's flag has excellent a craftsmanship. good point. I shall carefully store it. Now, keep winning checkered flags so you can race in the Big Butte Grand Brick Arena. Say, you've acquired some cool vehicles. Yes. I'll show you how to equip them in your loadout. First, open the options menu. Select the loadout option. This is where you can change all three types of vehicles Ooh. and your driver. So this is where we can see some of the statistics. I don't know what is happening with Stud over there in the corner. That is... You can create multiple loadouts, each with its own set of vehicles and driver. Very busy looking. Okay. So... Oh, and every vehicle has different stat modifiers that change the way it performs. Keep okay. an eye on the stats when you earn, buy, or build a new vehicle. Got it. So if I go in here... Oh, cool. So I can just switch it from here. So can I pick this? Did I pick it? Oh, I did pick it. Cool. Wow. So it really does make a difference because you can see based on the different stats there. So you have top speed, acceleration, handling, health, and weight. And then based on those four stats, you or five stats, I guess, sorry. You can go on ahead and determine how your vehicle might fare. So this one seems to be excelling in the category of top speed and in the category of handling, but seems to not be doing so well when it comes to acceleration and when it comes to health. So that's something to keep in mind. Whereas something like this, really, this doesn't have very high health, but it's a very heavy vehicle. The more bricks on your vehicle, the heavier it gets. Light, medium, and heavy vehicles all have advantages and weaknesses. Find out what works best for you. Fair enough. I guess we'll mix it up and add this instead. I think that could be fun. And then over in our boat selection, we have the Royal Sailor. We have this little thing, the Aqua Dirt Racer Boat. And then we have the Lake Cruiser. I don't really know if I want to switch any of these. I mean, I suppose maybe acceleration is kind of nice on the Royal Sailor. So maybe we could give that a go. 
And then, of course, we can actually change our character in here as well. Like, if I wanted to, I could suddenly become Default Dude instead. And now, you can see that we have this car rocking and rolling, as well as the off-roading one, which is pretty cool. But, let's see if we could put that to the test with our new vehicle. Would it be easier to complete this now? Because I believe this thing has better steering, right? So, it'd be interesting to try and see... Uh, well, 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 well. <laughs> I like how it's just wrong car, as if the game is trying to communicate to me, like, hey, this is not the right car for this sort of thing. I don't really know how this is considered to be really good steering, because it's really wide on the steering. I do really love that the game gives you the option to constantly abandon any sort of mission or restart it at your own leisure. I think that's actually a really smart mechanic. So that's one of the things that I definitely quite appreciate uh, out of the things that I've seen so far. Now, we do have Butte Loops that we need to compete in. So let's make way to the Butte Loops. I think we can actually go there from here, can we not? Nope. I am still very unfamiliar about how things are laid out here. So it's very difficult to know how or where to go, especially because the GPS system in this game absolutely positively stinks. It doesn't really guide you in any way outside of just pinging the waypoint for you, but it doesn't make some sort of arrows or some sort of like a ghost trail of studs appear that you can utilize in order to get where you want to get going. You really just pretty much have to constantly be looking at the minimap and then comparing it relatively to where you're trying to go and putting two and two together and solving a route for yourself which to me then kind of defeats the whole point of a waypoint but whatever we're headed to the butte loops where we're going to be challenging someone else so i suppose let's see who this might be Did you know the Butte Loops track was built first? Then later, downtown Big Butte was built in the center of the track. It makes sense to me, Parker. There's so much space in the center of a track. Why not make good use of it and develop it into a busy commercial area? I'm calling it now. By the end of this race, that idea is going to be trending. And also okay. trending, today's rival, Max Speed. Max so Speed! I like this guy's name! I like this guy's name. I might be a little biased. Cause... Racing. Please My name, but your uh, you know. Starting an all racing diet. Here we go. Of course, we're starting in the back again, right? Yes. It's it's always like this. I don't get it, man. Are we ever gonna get to start one of these races up front? Like we're always at a massive deficit. Man, I am gonna need to rely on power ups to try to gain momentum here, aren't I? By the way, I was correct about the drifting. It seems like once you do a full drift bar, it basically hands you a power-up. For your boost. That's not good. Oh, boy. I'm trying. Believe it or not, I am trying! Warp! I do really love this ability. That's fun. Even though I think I just warped right back to the same place that I was in. It's like, hey, here's a power-up. You get to warp up ahead. Just to the same place that you were just in. That seems a little counterintuitive, but I suppose we'll have to accept the premise, at least for now. Really seem to be... Ah, I got guy. Really seem to be struggling trying to catch up to the first place. It's almost like max speed really is. Well, pretty fast. But at least I can see our enemy now. Ow! And of course, as soon as I say that, I get hit with a absolute stellar attack. It all comes down to having a cool power up right here. Ooh. Currently in first. 
drift through that corner. Get some power. And go, go, go to the finish line. First try. Woo, okay. That was definitely one that required a bit of work. But still completed on the first try, which is awesome. We've won a flag. We've won ourselves the Extreme Engines race car, which is basically a Formula One car, and a brand new perk of Top Speed Boost. Defeated Max Speed, and completed yet another task within Big Butte. Well, the second area that we got to visit within Bricklandia as a whole, which is uh, pretty awesome. So look at that, everybody celebrating our win, kind of. Unless if your name is Max Speed, I suppose. Uh, we also get to level up from that performance. That's lovely. Ooh, I can and... learn a thing or two from you. That was a great race. Hey, he's not sour at all. Respect to you, sir. You are pro material. Do you hear what I'm saying? Prime to make the big bucks. I will put this checkered flag in the checkered flag pile. The bigger the pile, the closer we are to the Big Butte Grand Brick Arena. Okay. Hey, I need a favor. Could you check in with my team? Someone, or something, is trying to destroy our secret project. Can you find out who, or what, is responsible? Absolutely I could. And that is exactly what we'll be doing on the next part of uh, the gameplay walkthrough for LEGO 2K Drive. Thanks all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you here for part number two.